Hello everyone, Angel again. Uh, that's the second video I will be doing about some MSX computers that I have here. And today I have here is a National a CF3300. Uh, that computer is an MSX1 standard. And that computer is a little bit different from another MSX ones from the time. Uh, not all of them came with a flop drive. Mostly of the MSX that has a flop drive, uh, the MSX 2.0s or so, and that one is special. Uh, it came with a dual density flop drive. That means it has a 720k drive on it. So I'm not been using the flop drive itself, just to show you guys. But uh, on here, what I have is a beer interface. That is a simple interface that was made for mostly of mostly of the MSX 1.0 to run simple games. Um, I do have here some different ones, like um, sorry for that, and yeah, uh, I have here like that's the most common of those the, the interfaces that's the May, maple mega run 512k uh that one came with two slots for sd cards and adds up to 520k of memory to your msx that allows you to play like better and nicer games i do have here also the mega flash phone scc no, that one is not SCC. No, that's not. Uh, that one uh, allows you to, through your computer, you just run a software and you can program the cartridge. That one had have like 512K. You can put a lot of games. I think so it was 16 games of 16K on the memory itself. So acts like a cartridge. So as soon as you install the computer, they load immediately. And I also have here a Mega Flash Run SCC SD. That one here is uh, one of the probably the best ones that we have, because they have a Flash Run. You can program a, a game on on it. It has a micro SD card that you can run games through the SD cards, and that also includes a SCC chip. That is a uh, a special audio chip that uh, give you more sound channels for the games, especially the Konami games that uses more that resource. But for now, I just gonna use the beer interface. And like I said, that is a MSX one. As you guys can see here, they can they just found the interface and it goes straight and loads the MSX DOS 1.0. That's the standard uh, OS for the 1.0 uh, MSX. And let me just oh the O is getting so hard. I have to check a look on that one. Uh, that is a loader for uh, games. Yeah. And just one more thing to, show, to tell you guys, that MSX, I have that for a while and was on my storage. Yes, they, when I went to turn on, they was completely dead. So I opened up, I found one uh, capacitor on the power supply that was like bulging. I swapped that one, and since that it was open, I replaced all the capacitors on the power supply.
So they came up and it's working, but I think I just have to open up that keyboard and do a little cleaning inside because since it's been so long in storage, sometimes the dusty or something get to the keys. And how you guys saw that all keys are really working so fine, uh, how expected. And here we have several games on here. Uh, just got. Um, some to show you guys. Yeah, like that one here. See, with those interfaces, we don't have to wait so long anymore. And just, and one uh, nice thing to on that computer most of the computers do not have is a reset button right here that also most of the times work fine just load computers but some games are like going to say like that one and some Konami games you have to completely shut down your computer and turns back on because they get addressed in some parts of their RAM that even if you press the reset they don't erase it part of the RAM. Yeah, the O, the O key really needs to be cleaned on that thing. And that's what I'm gonna do in a few minutes. Just load one more game. One of those most classic games from almost look almost all the platforms. Load runner. That's all guys. I let's see if with that game the reset button can erase mostly are Konami games that doesn't erase the games. 
Yeah, like that was that's a 16 game too. Is not erase all. So that just to show you guys. Okay, that's an MSX one computer. That's the that can just grab the phone off the out of here to give you guys a better idea. And that's the keyboard for that MSX. Here on the front, as I said, we have a 720k flop drive, a reset button. We have the two slots for the cartridge with the power button. And on the back here, let me just move that aside. Just that, that keyboard is quite heavy. On the side here, we have the two joystick ports. That's the cassette port to load games on the cassette. And on the back here, we have a printer port, RF channel. And that computer also, that's, they have a really weird connection for the keyboard. See that? That's a, like a special keyboard connector for it. And we have here the video and audio outputs. That here is a RGB SCART connection. That part here, I, I think so they have a special connection for that that I don't really remember right now what it is and on this one here I think is the port to be connected to a special interface that goes on that computer that is a superimposer and that's all you guys can see that's a Japanese computer and almost everything is right in Japanese so that's all guys and that's the video for the CF3300 MSX computer. Well, after the keyboard has been cleaned, just get the volume up so it will be easier. Just I'm going to be clicking and That's the word uh, key that they don't do anything, but you have to hold something here and then it give you that word character. But unless that key is not pressed, it don't do anything at all. And so that's all. Keyboard clean and fully operational. Let's just put everything back now.